Hello and welcome to Qualys coverage for Microsoft Patch Tuesday, June 2013. This month, Microsoft released five security bulletins. One of them was rated critical, while four were rated important. This brings us to a total of about 51 bulletin in this year, in 2013, which is 20% more than what we had at the same time last year. So let's get started and dig a little bit deeper into today's Patch Tuesday. The most critical update that we would recommend is for Internet Explorer MS 1347. This update fixes 19 vulnerabilities and we uh, suggest that people apply it as soon as possible as at least few of these vulnerabilities are sure to be reverse engineered and used in the creation of malware and other uh, other badware type of products. So MS1347 is the number one patch uh, in our uh, priority listing for this patch Tuesday. Uh, as a surprise, a second security upgrade, MS1351, is the one in office. And it's a surprise because it is a zero day which was already used in a limited number of attacks using PNG targets. Uh, the attack exploit works this way. An attacker sends a malicious uh, PNG file as an attachment and if the user opens that file, uh, his or her machine gets compromised. Now, this is rated only as important, not as critical, because user interaction is required. But uh, from the past, we know that it's uh, not very difficult to get users to open files if they are sent uh, with the uh, appropriate uh, subject line or appropriate material which entices the user to open the file. So uh, although there is only one critical and this one important, we think both of these bulletins should be treated as critical. There were three other bulletins. One was MS1349. That was interesting because it's a remote denial of service and a remote unauthenticated denial of service, which means an attacker could send packets over the network to your server or workstations and cause the machine to reboot. Uh, the reason this is important because an attacker can do this only on uh, from limited subnets for certain operating systems and uh, that sort of makes it not critical but important. Two other bulletins, MS1348 was the information disclosure vulnerability and MS1350 was a local privilege elevation vulnerability. So these were the five bulletins that Microsoft uh, patched uh, this month. There was also a zero day released by uh, Tavis, uh, one of the researchers from Google, and uh, there was no fix from Microsoft for that. And I think if we see some attacks in the wild, we could have a out of band patch, or we could expect this, uh, this, the update for this in the upcoming Microsoft release. Apart from these uh, five bulletins, Microsoft also uh, released yesterday a fixit for Java. What this fixit does is if you have Java installed on your machine and you do need it for some of the critical applications uh, to work but don't want it to work in the browser. So if you have some applications that use Java but you don't want Java to be enabled while you are web browsing or in, or in your web applications then this fix it will disable Java from Internet Explorer. So that's, uh, that's a pretty uh, good functionality to have. And currently Chrome and Mozilla Firefox already have this functionality. So if you are IE user and want to disable Java in your browsers, this uh, is a pretty good fix it that one should use. So these were the Microsoft bulletins and updates for this month. Uh, Adobe also released today a fix for Flash and Air. This, uh, this fix is APSP 13-16 and uh, it also fixes a remote code execution vulnerability in Adobe Flash. In addition to that, uh, last, last week Apple had their quarterly patch release which fixed a vulnerability in 
uh, Mac OS X. So there we have it. We have Microsoft Patch Tuesday. We had Adobe releasing patches as well as Apple releasing patches. Those were the updates for Microsoft, Adobe and Apple. Please join us next week for July's Patch Tuesday.